Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back for your romance reading of August 2020 and I hope you enjoy the readings by the looks of it you do um, I'm going steady in, in the months now in every sign as I've only done the three top signs and a Capricorn came in with 276 and then Pisces with 96 and uh, Gemini third place with 86. I hope you do like the readings and um, I'm, I've got a, another sort of spread t this week and if you're new welcome please sub and uh, uh, subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and I do send out notifications through Instagram Facebook and the community tab on YouTube because some of my viewers have said they're not getting notified so I hope this will help thank you for all your likes and shares and by the way, um, if you um, would like to join in in the live sessions, the live sessions, it, we call it the Cyber Family, you can become a Cyber Angel, and it is the Tea Room. So grab your cuppa and join in. I give away free cards, and I also answer questions that are supported with a super chat or a super sticker. If you would like to have an extended reading, then please have a look in the information below this video in the description box, or there is a white circle with an eye in it in the top right hand corner that will take you to the website and there you can see all the readings on offer. There will be a new reading added onto the website and that's the crystal ball reading and the crystal ball is the crystal ball plus it will be clarified with cards. Okay, um, uh, I'm also doing week, uh, weekly uh, uh, daily cards in a weekly reading, uh, one for each day from Saturday to Friday. So have a look at that one and uh, let me know whether you like it, the system. Somebody said the concept was nice, so that's why I've, I'm staying with that for the moment. I think everybody likes to know what's going to happen in the week, um, um, uh, exclusive from their own sign reading. So have a look if that resonates with you as well or gives you um, ad additional information to your zodiac sign. Um, what else? The, there will be, the competition will be restarted, um, but that will go through a special page on Facebook. That's where everybody that is interested in joining the competition uh, can um, join in in an, a, a closed page but I don't know how to do that so I have to sort that out and get that up and running okay because two viewers said well I'm busy busy with my vision board and yeah I, I've done three months experience but now it will be um, a little bit shorter but if you're interested in getting the Shadowlands or the vice versa deck or having a free reading getting a chance of winning a free reading then please join in start your vision board by all means and experience it and a lot of people uh, it, we had an interaction evening and what came out of the interaction evening that people like to be uh, have an interaction evening much more often so after the summer we'll have another interaction evening and uh, tell me your stories tell me what you have been doing in the summer how you find the readings do you have any suggestions on improvement let me know and let's keep the tea room going and exciting okay I also do healings in the live sessions so if you don't want to join in with the healing then set the intention if you do want to receive the healing okay um, and thank you to all my cyber angels for their loyalty in following and liking and subscribing and I hope the new people will join us as well it is a beautiful beautiful time I feel it real bless, blessed and grateful for all my cyber angels I'm drinking a cup of coffee at the same time I'm sorry when you talk too much then your mouth gets dry your first card is heart-to-heart -heart conversations 
honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yes, keep the communication going. Like I always say, you can't think what the other one thinks for definite. When you are with somebody for a long time, you do have an idea of how they think and how what they might answer. But to be sure what they think and what they want and to keep the commun uh, uh, relationship going or the special friendship then communicate let them know what your boundaries are know their boundaries know what their hobbies are let them know what your interests are in hobbies and that is what a relationship is built on now to clarify this beautiful card heart to heart conversations i know heart to heart conversations can also be interpreted in discussions and that can end up in arguments so be careful of your inter in intonation and what you say and how you say it be gentle you can um, you can be charming and watch that intonation because you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar if this reading doesn't resonate with you, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. But the first card that you have to describe, the uh, ro first romance card, is the world. The world is your oyster. Something is coming full circle. So that means an ending to a phase, a new beginning. You're going into a new phase. This could be the next level in your relationship. From going out to becoming engaged or from becoming engaged to getting married from uh, li uh, living apart, living together. Um, this is also the karma card. What goes round comes round. What goes down must come up. That's why we always have ups and downs in our life or relationships and friendships. In a general uh, reading this would also mean promotion uh, or a new job if you haven't got a job. This could be moving home and so you could be moving in together from living separate perhaps this COVID has made you realize that you can't do without each other and now you're going to uh, live together you might be buying a new home so t to move in together you might be going on holiday so taking quality time out together there will be news as you've got the letter there will be news this could be from your partner but this could also be official news like the papers for your new home um, are ready uh, this could be a mortgage or the ownership of, of the home to sign at the real estate or estate agents wow big things are happening for you Taurus and in the second week we've got passion allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy well my heart would be singing with joy if I uh, was in this situation of moving in together and having a new start it could also be marriage like I said so this could be official papers official news marriage certificate could also be a birth certificate that's also a new level from being together and being alone uh, you could be extending your um, relationship and your unity by finding out you're pregnant or giving birth a birth certificate especially if you've got a lot of passion a passion doesn't last and now it's turning into love woohoo and Taurus yeah, you're amazing reading and you're making plans for the future you've got the two of ones and you are the two of ones also means partnering up so if you're not partnered up you will be partnered up but definitely everybody is going on to the next level that's what it seems like and you've got the Sun so it's only going to go up to the next level in a good way the Sun also means birth birth of a child birth of a project like marriage next level up this could be also that uh, you are in the spotlight so there might be a Leo that is uh, has an eye on you this could mean marriage um, other uh, um, oh gosh I've lost it 
uh, promotions this could be like there could be a house being promoted and you finally found the house that you feel at home in because buying a house is not buying a, a packet of sugar you have to walk into a house and it has to feel comfortable and yours also it is a fertile time um, because the sun um, um, is warm and uh, the seeds that are sown need warmth to grow okay so and you've got number 31 which is uh, four which so this is proper foundations for long term you've got a nine here so an ending to a phase again confirming the world okay really coming together here there are things um, you are in a spotlight when there is spotlight appears then it also means something is illuminated so make sure that you get the right information you might have to do some more research with regards to a house if you're buying a house are the foundations okay is the roof okay etc uh, etc et look at the small print okay in the third week we have children now I was talking about a pregnancy so children uh, yes your life is being affected by children yes well it is a big step finding out you're pregnant you might not have expected it so it is uh, it is affecting you it could be a child or children okay uh, perhaps you wanted to get uh, pregnant uh, or start a family with your partner and it didn't happen and all of a sudden boom something is being illuminated <laughs> the spotlight is on getting pregnant okay so now the, it, it, it does affect a relationship because it, you might be living in an apartment and you might want something some more room so you might have to need to um, move home okay now this is uh, exciting because look at this unexpected the div divine uh, you've got the tower that means something unexpected is going to happen the tower looks scary and a long long time ago I was scared of the tower really whenever I saw the tower that's why I left the tarot because it really does look ferocious in the traditional tarot and this deck is gentle and, and sweet and com comic and that's why I love this deck because it's not scary and here is somebody falling away so friends could be falling away okay you because you might be moving home like the world says um, and the Sun where's the Sun here so you might be leaving friends behind but if they are real friends they will help you in this big change if they are really worthwhile then the real ones will be sorted out from the bad ones like the sorting out the bad apples from the good apples there will be something happening unexpectedly and it could be good because you've been planning things perhaps getting together getting married moving home or going on holiday and here it is you are pregnant boom well you couldn't make a, a decision or a choice that's what I interpret how I interpret the tower and so the angels and the divine are giving you this big ch uh, change so if it is finding out you're pregnant and one of you didn't want to ha uh, have children and you did let's say your partner didn't then now it is here the divine has given you the um, unexpected change a third party a third party I see children also as a third party I've experienced it and sometimes the fathers can feel left out or the partner left out so make sure that you start this new beginning in the right way and build it on proper foundations number four make sure that you include your partner in the pregnancy in the birth in bringing up the child and you can be a, a, a unit a solid unit okay um, don't let a child um, divide you that is a very difficult task at hand but if you show enough attention enough uh, understanding even if you're feeling tired after the birth 
because it is a big step having a child um, because you you have to also remember don't cipher yourself away because you um, intend to give all your love, your care, your nurturing to the baby and to your partner and you cipher yourself away. So keep yourself um, also give nurture yourself okay take time out to rest take it easy and that is where you have to draw in your partner and share it and that they need to know that it the child is for both of you and both of you from you and this can join a, a, a unit that is open and already stable in their relationship. A child cannot mend a broken relationship. Well, some people do get pregnant and in hope that the child uh, will bring unity. It doesn't work that way. S perhaps once or twice in, in a thousand times, but usually it doesn't. Well, there's a ghost you've got the ghost so somebody from the past might be coming back and this could be uh, somebody that is past uh, gone to the other realm and they are letting you know don't worry we are here okay it could also be that you might have memories perhaps from a previous relationship and that's why the, perhaps you were treading on the same path and that's why the uh, divine or the angels haven't given you the tower so let the memories from the past go so that you can handle the now and the new so that you can move on with this beautiful new beginning so don't let anybody um, haunt you. That, uh, the ghost also means haunting. Don't have g haunting thoughts. Stay away from negative thoughts. Okay. Don't let the past repeat itself because you've got this new beginning. You can't change the past. You can only change the present and the future. Then in the fourth week, finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now yes this is for a lot of people uh, unfortunately the situation especially with this COVID and if you've got your own business perhaps oh what are we going to do about the finances we can't afford a baby my darlings don't worry what the baby needs is warmth love protection and enjoy this gift from God or the divine enjoy it being together making a family that is the most important that's the biggest treasure in the world and a lot of people don't take time out to realize this they take it all for granted once it's gone because of divorce or other sort of loss and then it's not there anymore and you can't change it so don't worry about the finances and uh, don't worry about the job because you will figure it out you might start this might be your big chance that you are going to take it easy you might lose your job because you're pregnant and they won't give you maternity leave or in some countries you don't have maternity leave you might start twigging yourself in an other way you might start an online shop an online business you might become a tarot reader you might be selling baby clothes or doing videos on how to wash a baby what does pregnancy mean what does a pregnancy a pregnancy a gymnastics mean um, mind you when you are videoing um, um, pregnancy um, gymnastics ask for permission okay it could be a great story I see lots of these videos and lots of young mothers are uh, jumping on the bandwagon so perhaps this is a gift from the divine to change your life totally okay uh, uh, give it a new twist there's always you, my mum used to say I, I can knit as well but my mum used to say don't worry about the sleeves you can always adjust them in other words be flexible and adjustable adjust to your situation but talk to each other 
heart-to-heart -heart conversations, talk. There could be grandparents involved, and the grandparents might say, right, I'll look after the baby Tuesday and Thursday, and the other, the other grandparents say, we will look after the baby on Wednesday and Friday. Get them involved in the family. This is how you can uh, uh, solve or the problem or to solve the issue at hand. Don't have sleepless nights. There is an ending because there's always a solution. Seven, luck. One and six is seven. Give your stress or your worries over to the divine and uh, to the angels and let them uh, solve it for you okay and they will so that you can rest at night and rejuvenate and keep your energy up again this world uh, this word child 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 pregnancy is coming up again the child card means don't be too serious let the inner child come out let your passion that's how you keep the passion free as well be more playful give attention to your partner if you're not hooked up then make sure that you are not too serious go out there and play i don't mean play the field but go and enjoy yourself with your girlfriends and get to know mingle with uh, the boys and men and get to know somebody 13 is also friendship fellowship so make new friends put yourself out there and say i'm single i'm open to a serious relationship don't just go for passion go for real love this this video Taurus is taking a life of its own is a, a, a bam straight in your face video this and it's amazing it's got so many messages be strong be decisive change where you need to change twig it so be the beacon this is the message um, if you're not hooked up um, don't and if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions okay always have safe sex I'm sorry I don't want to get personal but if you are single have safe sex until you get to know the other person heart to heart conversations be true be honest to yourself and to the other and also say I want you to be honest I want to know where I stand okay now we've got a healing card here conscious breathing conscious breathing yes I do that in meditation that's where you get your answers breathe consciously be calm collect take a deep breath especially if you've got a shock moment sit still think about it meditate about it or contemplate about it and evaluate and if you can't come out of it if you can't find the answers then ask for help from somebody else perhaps a mother an aunt or a woman or a man mature man that you respect Archangel Michael asks you to take a slow deep breath to bring the inner peace and balance breathe in calm breathe out stress if you join me in the live sessions then you know what I'm talking about breathe in the positive energy through the nose and breathe out the negative energy bring yourself back into balance and get the peace and learn to compromise if one doesn't want a baby and doesn't think it's the right time it's never the right time but it is a gift from the universe so learn to compromise talk about it if you can't come if you can't find a solution get help this is one of the powerful the most powerful readings that I've ever done and definitely this month so far the energy is shifting I can also see that in the general readings from uh, active and uh, slightly negative to whoa positive definitely in cancer and now we're 
going in we are in Leo so this is also very active be careful don't do anything in haste because you will have to repent in leisure contemplate meditate evaluate I can't stress this that enough deep breath this card is so beautiful it draws this whole reading together stay in your strength and in your balance I hope you think the same way as I do if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign and enjoy the month take care and be safe thank you for sharing and liking